Former Mississippi governor, Republican National Party chair, Haley Barber, welcome. Thank you, Charlie. Glad How to be back. How do you think this cuts politically, and should Governor Romney, as Rick Santorum has suggested, go harder on it? Well, first of all, no question, you, you're on the right question. Politically, this is about politics. And uh, the, the, the gay lobby, the homosexual groups in the Democratic Party are very, very powerful. This is not about politics for the people who want to get married, though. Uh, it's very much about politics for Barack Obama. Even the New York Times today called it politically charged. And so uh, th that's what this is about. How is it going to cut? It will be very interesting to how the gay groups look at President Obama saying, well, I'm for homosexual marriage, but we ought to let the states decide. We're going to let it be a state's rights issue. I think that will be very unpopular but this among is the, the, those groups. Is it a difficult thing for the governor? Because on the one hand, he wants to stress the economy, and on the other hand, he's getting a lot of pressure from Rick Santorum and others to say, this is a winning issue for you. Well, is it a winning issue for Romney, or does it get in the way of his conversation about the economy? Well, the best thing for Republicans is for this election to be a referendum on Obama's record. Obama's record on economics and jobs, the policies that he has put in place and how those policies have failed. The American people recognize that. That's why we've got 60 percent of the people in the country think it's going in the wrong direction and they think the economy is even worse than that. So that's what, that's what we want to focus on. That's what Romney should want to focus on. But on this, when the president comes out and makes a big deal out of an issue, the candidate has to set out his position, which I thought he did very well. Uh, he said after thoughtful consideration, he decided this is what, in fact, was important for him to say at the moment. You're talking about President Obama. Yes. I meant that Romney set out his position very well right. in opposition to that. But I don't think it has to be loud. I don't think it has to be harsh. There's a very clear difference of opinion here. And most states in this country have had referenda on this and have voted overwhelmingly, as North Carolina did, to, uh, to honor marriage as a union between one man and one woman, as we have done for thousands of years in the world, not just in America. Let's, let's just shift talk for just one minute. Uh, you've been speaking a little bit more about Bobby Jindal from Louisiana. You, do you think he would be uh, the right running mate for Mitt Romney? It's way too early, Erica. I mean, the question for Romney about who to pick his running mate, is a, that's a question should be answered in August. Uh, after you get a chance to look at a whole lot more information, what states are going to be really close. Bobby Jindal is a super capable guy. He's been a great governor. He's smart as a whip. But it's way too early to be asking that question. Even if it's too early, what are the most important things to look for in that person? Is it just about the states where they need to win, or is there more to it? Well, obviously, the threshold question is this person qualified to be president of the United States. Could this person, if the president, heaven forbid, were to die, could this person come in and be a good president? The political decisions come after that, and they are, you know, the Hippocratic rule, do no harm. Pick somebody that doesn't hurt you. Charlie and I were around in 1972 when uh, George McGovern picked a run and maybe had to give back. Uh, secondly, is there a state, a big state that you wouldn't otherwise carry that this person might help you carry? Uh, Lyndon Johnson is a perfect example. Jack again. Kennedy. Yeah, when Kennedy picked Lyndon Johnson, gave All him right. Texas. So there are a number of decisions. But to pick a vice president thinking it's going to be a game changer, that would be highly, highly unlikely and unusual. Yes or no? This race <laughs> now is about dead even. Yes. Thank you, Governor.